my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be a get ready with me with me using new slash new ish slash new to me products so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so i got some products here some of them are new but the star of the show is clearly the new fenty foundation i also got the urban decay what is this uh stone vibes palette so i'm gonna be using that beauty and i also picked up the mark jacobs highlighter um what is this omega glaze and i also picked up the new l'oreal true match concealer and i also picked up a new to me blush <laughs> which is the ruby kisses what is this dare blusher okay i have that on and i've got the lash glue the kiss eyeliner lash glue love that just had to go ahead and tell you all that so yeah all of those products i have on my face to complete this look now i think it turned out nicely let me know what you think down in the comments so let's go ahead and get to it all right so i picked up the kiss top brow auto pencil and the shade that I got it in is brown so this is what it looks like it's got the brush on one end and then the pencil is right there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start this and this seems to be it's really light lighter than what I normally use um, I like it because it glides on really well and I would say this is like a classic brown you know how when you get some pencils and they say brown it's a little bit darker more closer to black almost this one is really reading you know very brown so anyway i'm just gonna do the tail end and at the beauty supply i also picked up these <laughs> i picked up the magic it's called the magic and this is eyebrow it's an eyebrow marker and it says multi-prong tip um extra long so this is the kind of brow pen that has the the tip is kind of uh, split to where you can kind of draw your fake brows. And this is what it looks like when I kind of swatch it on the skin. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do this at the front. And of course, it's darker than what I've already used. And I think that it would be really good if it were the same color as the pencil. But overall, I think it's working pretty well. Da -da. All right, so now that I finished that, I actually like this. Um, this pen is too light to pair with this one, but I think that if I had these in the same color, it would work really well. So anyway, got that. All right, so now I'm just going to add a concealer um, and just use a concealer as an eye base. And I'm gonna use this Born This Way multi-purpose sculpting concealer. I know you all are familiar with it. And after that, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow. Okay, so now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with the palette that I'm gonna use. And this is the Urban, excuse me, yeah, the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette. Here it is, totally gorgeous. And here are the shades. I'm gonna use this shade as a brow bone highlight. Oh, and just in case I didn't say it, I am not going to set my concealer. I'm And I'm just taking a clean brush right now and just kind of buffing that out a little bit, very light handedly. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit towards the inner part of my eye, right here, just a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this darker shade. What shade is this? This is the word hex. I'm try to do like other YouTubers. I'm gonna try to tell you all the name. Try to remember to do that. But this is hex, and I'm gonna go ahead with putting that in my crease. So I'm just gonna place that right here. All 
All right, so, so far so good. I'm liking how this is blending out. It's really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go in with third eye next. And this is it right here. And I'm gonna place that in my outer V. Again, guys, this shade doesn't have any fallout either. I'm just gonna add this just like this. All right, so now that I have that applied, and I really like it, the only thing is that third eye has a little bit of a metallic finish, and I really didn't realize that until I started applying it. But these shadows don't have a lot of fallout. Um, I don't know, I like them so much. So anyway, now I gotta decide what color to put on the lid. All right, so for the lid, for the inner eye, I'm gonna use, there's so many there's so many pretty colors. I think I wanna use them all, or try to use. And this is Tiger's Eye. All right, so now I got this applied and it's looking good. The only thing is, is that in the pan and when I swatch it, it kind of has a gold color, but now it's like shifting to a pink, gold, all kind of different pretty colors. Okay, so now I think I want to use, what shade is this? I think I want to use Bloodstone. This is Bloodstone. So I'm gonna apply it just right there next to Tiger's Eye. Okay, so I got that applied and I think I'm going to use, I guess the blue. And the blue is Ojo and this is Ojo. All right, so I've got the blue added, but I feel like it needs more. So I'm just gonna go back in with Tiger's Eye. So let's get into the fun part. And that is the new Fenty Beauty Foundation. Comes in a pretty packaging like this. And here is the shade. Comes with a applicator. And just to be completely transparent, I did use my, this is the Flower Honeysuckle Serum. And then for a moisturizer, I use the Falling Moisturizer Replenish and Protect. It's for normal to dry skin and this is it. All right, so I think I'm going to apply it with this. I am going to use the applicator that they did provide. And then after that, to blend it in more, I'm going to use this brush. It is clean as you all can see. So let's just go on in with this and see. And I was matched <laughs> by the representative in Sephora, so let's see. And in the store, it did look like it could have been my shade. And I forgot to look to see if this is full covered or not. And I know it looks like I'm applying a lot, but I just want to see if it will cover all of my hyperpigmentation and my dark spot. And I remember I was watching a video of hers and she was saying that whatever shade you are in her regular foundation, that would that's what you would be in this one. And that wasn't so for me. Okay, I have no idea how this is coming across on camera as far as the shade. All right, so now that I have that applied, buff it out with my brush.
Okay, I kind of want to go in with some more um, just to see. I know I got some full coverage ladies out there that like to see that. So let's see if we can kind of build this up. And I know you're like, girl, you're doing the most. But I just want to see if you can build it up. And if so, how will it look? So I think that's about as good as that's going to get. Um, I really won't know how this is looking until I edit. You know, I see it here in the mirror and I added a lot of powder. So my face is feeling tight and really dry. Okay, so I'm going to use a hydrating uh, setting spray. So let me go ahead and add this concealer next. To conceal under my eyes and this is the true match eye cream um, in a concealer and the shade that I have it in is N51 this is the L'Oreal looks like this and this is the applicator and this is it right here so I'm just gonna apply that under my eye and get that all in And right now it's looking like it's not gonna be full coverage. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And you don't have to be afraid to add creams over powders or powders over cream. All right, and to set it, I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I used this in the previous video. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this. All right, and so now that I have that pretty much applied, I'm gonna use the Fenty bronzer in coconut it comes in a package like this and this is the shade so I'm going to bronze up y'all know I like to do the most on this part now I'm gonna do my lower lash line for my outer V to about right there, I'm going to use third eye. <laughs> All these eyes. And third eye is here. And then on the lower lash line, I guess I'll use the green. And the green is Jade. And here's Jade. And it's a lot of sparkles going everywhere. <laughs> I am spraying it with this Urban Decay setting spray. Okay, let me do the other eye. Okay, there's a lot of fallout with this one. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be a lot because I sprayed it, but not so much. All right, so I'm gonna add a mascara and I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild mascara. All right, and so now we're in to the blush, and I picked up this uh, Ruby, what is this, Ruby Kisses Dare Blusher. I thought it was new because I had never seen it before, but I looked online, I found out it's like five years old. <laughs> so this is it right here. I thought the colors were really pretty, and it looks like this is a highlighter. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a blush and a highlighter in here. So for blush, I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use the purple. And I'm not gonna use the highlighter in here because I have a highlighter. I feel like you can't see this, so that's why I'm adding on more. But now that I added on more, I feel like I've added on too much. All right, 
So for highlighter, I got this Marc Jacobs Guilty Omega Glaze All Over Full Luminizer. Isn't this the cutest stuff? I bought the palette too, but I think I'm going to use that in another video. And here is the highlighter. So let's just see what she's talking about. Shall we? Okay, alright. Put some on my nose. You know I gotta put some on my nose. And the more I look at this blush, it is too much. I'm gonna put some of that up here. Ooh, it's so pretty. So now I'm gonna go in with the uh this is the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I've had this for I don't know how long, but haven't used it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this, and then I'm gonna apply the lashes, and we're gonna see if this actually works. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with a small pair of lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna use these lashes from Amazon. So I'm just going to add some of this lit, this uh, Kiss Eyeliner, and I'm gonna add these lashes on. And these, some of you might think that these, yeah, and you might think that these are big and a bit much, but it's not. All right, so I think I'm finished with the eyes, okay? I like these lashes, and I'm going to go back in one more time with my uh, brush that I use to apply my foundation, and I'm going to just kind of go back over everything again before I spray and I'm gonna use this LA girl shimmery spray this is it right here I'm not sure if y'all can see the shimmer in it but we're gonna go for this today okay and now that that's all shimmery I'm gonna go back in with my highlighter palette and I'm gonna add just a little bit more now that it's wet and I know you're like girl you're doing the most I know I love doing the most <laughs> okay and I think I'm just gonna use a nude lip or do I want a brown lip I don't know if I want a brown lip a nude lip see if I was live you all could tell me what to use. Here's a nice color or oh, this color. I'm going to use this color and this. Oh, wait a minute. This is a nice one. This is straight up nude. I love these kinds of nudes. I don't put lip liners with my nudes because I want it to just totally disappear. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty and it smells so good. So, and you know it's pigmented because it's covering up my dark lips. So this is a final look. Let me know if you've used any of these products. Let me know if you want to use any of these products. Um, let me know how you think that the eyeshadow look applied and how it turned out. I think that it turned out pretty. Um, I was a little disappointed in the way the blue eyeshadow turned out, but that's okay. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, so just...